be a program it is going to be stored where it is going to be stored under volatile memory got my point it is going to stored under primary memory once you are typing any program if you are not saved that program that is going to be in the primary memory once you have saved that program that is going to be stored under secondary memory got this point everyone Yes, yes. yes, and yes. here, what are the major difference? All whether you may think that what is the main difference between primary memory and and which is the fastest? Whenever we are doing any program or anything, we keep only two things in mind, girls. See, once you write any program or anything, we feel like you know. Using less consumption, less occupying, less space occupying in the memory. We want to use only less space in the memory. Okay, now all the time we feel now if if any thing is occupying more space, we will not download it, right? What for? We will not download because if you, if it will take more space, the browsing speed, everything will go slow. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. So for that sake, yes. yeah, we will not. Prefer more data to be in our system. So here, main memory and primary main memory is also called as what? Primary memory and secondary memory is the permanent memory. Okay, now once the power is gone, also whichever the program you saved, it is going to be stored under secondary memory. And I have told you, once you turn on your system, it will take certain time, right? Yes, yeah, whatever the time it is taking means that is called booting. What it is called booting means what the starting of the process of a computer is called. What it is called booting means what whichever the things after saving because your your time is finished you have to leave the lab. Then yes, very good, uh, Fatima. So when you are leaving when you are about to leave the computer means that time is a 4 o'clock you have to leave the lab you did every complete program and you saved that program so next day means half of the program is typed and then next next day you have to come and complete the program so you feel you will be saving the program or not once you save the program after that you come next day it will be say once you are saving means where it is going to be stored in the memory it is in the secondary memory or in primary memory? Prime. Secondary memory. Secondary, secondary memory. memory. Once you save just that is secondary memory. Look at it. Put Me the next day when you are turn on, turning on the system. So what happens? Whichever the thing you have stored, that secondary memory lo unnadi all the time it it will be translating and transferring the data into primary memory. Ah, meanwhile, no jargia process ne booting under whichever the data is being stored in the secondary memory. Once you turn on the system, it will take certain time. Means what? Whatever the data is stored in the secondary memory, it is going to be transferred into the primary memory, main memory. That is our current window. That fraction of seconds is nothing but a booting. Got my point? Only for transferring our meanwhile no charge, a journey in what we are going to call it as a booting. That's why immediately once you turn on the system, it will not open at a time. Got it clear, everyone? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir, ma'am. Yes. And yes, here, yeah, we have different types of memory. I'll be going memory hierarchy which is faster secondary memory is very slow girls why because large amount of data is being stored in the secondary memory whichever the storage device is having more capacity to be stored that performance is very slow got it clear better example if i want to give you if you want to watch a movie like you know one movie is containing one movie is containing of time span of 30 minutes, the other movie, second movie is one hour, third movie is like one and a half hour, fourth movie is uh, two hours. Which will download very fast? One hour. Yes? First two. One hour. Yes, whichever the thing is going to occupy less space in the memory, it is going to be downloaded fast. Am I right? In the similar manner, when we are talking about memory hierarchy, I will share the screen, I will tell you. Yes, everyone could see the screen? Yes, ma'am. So, better I'll go with <coughs> No, ma'am. <coughs> yes, once you refresh, it is visible, I think, for everyone. Yes, ma'am. Everyone can see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could see it. Thus, there could be a uh, lagging because of internet connectivity in your mobile. So, kindly hold your breath if it is not sharing immediately, okay? 
if internet is speed is low that is called as bandwidth then you will get little bit late okay <coughs> okay so here it is missing okay fine so memory hierarchy means secondary memory is occupying more space so whichever the data is stored in the secondary memory to fetch it it will take certain time after secondary memory we are having main memory I'll just show that it is in. Okay, fine. It is not there, right? Okay, I'm going to stop the screen, girls. Okay. Yeah. So, secondary memory, primary memory, cache memory. Okay, now just take only these three memories. So, which is having more space, which will occupy more space means secondary memory is going to occupy more space followed by main memory. Main memory is comparatively somewhat lesser space than secondary memory. After that, cache memory. Got my point three. How many types of memories are there? Mainly we focus on secondary yeah. memory, primary, primary memory and cache memory okay na secondary memory will occupy more space comparatively primary memory is somewhat lesser to the secondary and cache memory is very and whichever the thing is occupying less space it is going to execute very fastly okay na very speed execution when i want any program to be executed i all the time fetch the data from the cache memory better example i want to tell you one like if you know if you go for any shopping mall so for any shop for purchasing any sari or any dresses or anything in a shop we have some sarees we find like you know whichever the sari we want to buy that sari is bought by some other lady you need to we want only that sari means what that sari what he will tell no that stock what he will tell that stock is not yeah ma'am within seconds means what you have to tell what you have to think means sarees anni oka shop lo unnai are you getting yes ma'am yeah yes ma'am Another example, I will not take this. Also, you take kitchen girls, grocer. You take. So, me kitchen lawn. Telugu is comfortable for everyone. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, yes, ma'am. Yeah, very good. Me ko me intlo ka kitchen ondi. Kitchen lawn me rem days tar anta. Generally, we used to. Yeah, okay, okay. We used to purchase like older days. One year grocer you buy at a time. Once one year grocer you bought at once. Okay na. So you cannot place them. Complete one year grocery at your kitchen in your kitchen. So what you are going to do? You are going to place them in a store room. Are you right? We will place like that only, na? We place them in the store room. Here after that, when the whichever the thing I use frequently, either it is in a store room frequently, whichever the things I am going to use, I am going to take, bring them and keep it in the kitchen. Are you getting my point? Yes, ma'am. What for I keep? Yes, ma'am. What for? I keep them kitchen. I, I why don't I keep them in the store room itself? We are using thoroughly. Yes, we are using means what? Time saving means whichever the thing we had all the time. We people computer and then speed. Mm -hmm. The computer is meant for speed. So whichever the thing I frequently use, I keep it in the. Kitchen room means what? If I want to, if I place them in the store room, I have to go there and I have to open that sack. I have to remove. Means it is a time taking thing. And moreover, one year grocery means many items are available that I want to search for. Which item I want to bring and I have to search first. I have to give it everything. Means it is a time taking task. The same thing if I bring small quantity of data, if I keep it in the kitchen room, easily I could. Uh, finish it off within a very less time of time, less span of time. Is it? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Now here the store can be considered as the secondary memory where everything, every data is going to be stored over there. Whichever the data I bring into the kitchen room, that becomes the cache memory. Means what? Very little amount of data which I need for my execution. Only that by that data I have, I am keeping in the kitchen. Kitchen can be considered as the cache memory. Got my point? Yes. Means yes, yes speed ex execution speed is deferred or not? Yes, ma'am. Means which one is executing very fastly? Cache memory or secondary memory? 
cache memory ma'am cache memory because whichever the data i need i am going to fetch it in the from the secondary memory i am going to place it in the cache memory here you have to remember this example store room is the secondary memory kitchen room is the Cash memory. Cash memory. Okay, now whichever the things are needed, only that are placed. Means what? Whichever the thing is occupying less space is speeded in execution. Got my point? Is there any yes. doubt here? Okay, memory. And very soon when we enter into the programming language, we will learn more about memory. Okay. So next one is what is an operating system? Mm -hmm. Yes, what is an operating system? Girls, I need your interaction, girls, because this is the first class for you and for me. Like, you know, only second is I know, but the other girls I am teaching for the first time. I need your interaction. Define operating system is what will you tell? What is your answer? Input. Yes. Which operate the systems? Very good, Nehan. Then, whatever you know, you tell. If I am I'm talking to you, you are understanding. What is the interface between you and me? And that supports computer basic functions. Supports computer basic functions. Very good. Very, if I want to tell at one word, what, what is the thing? Operating system means what? I am talking to you and you people are able to listen. What is the media between you and me? Internet. Without this, you people can't listen to my class. Yeah, collection of programs then. Low level software. Low level software. Yeah, then. Yes, everyone should answer, girls, please. Keep the operation. Yes, Pravalika. <laughs> Manages all the other application programs in a computer. Hi, Inka. A collection of set of programs and which manage the resources. Very good, very good, Hima. Then. Okay, now very simple answer you could tell. Yes, it acts as an interface between interaction between the user and the computer hardware. Okay, now if I am like, you know, if I want to open without an operating system, I cannot do a single task also, girls. Okay, so I just now I told you here, Zoom is the interact interface between you and me. Now, I at that time I can be able to teach to many students, like 80 students are present. I could able to teach what is the interface between you and me means what. Zoom. Zoom is an interface in the similar manner. If I want to, if the computer want to interact with the computer hardware, if mouse is working, printer is working, whatever is working, that could all do with the help of an operating system only. Got my point? It is like a connection. Without an operating system, you cannot. Yeah, very good. It's Rajesh. It's a mediator. Okay, now it acts as an interface or mediator between the computer hardware and user. If I am clicking on one button, immediately something will happen. Na? If I want to mute or unmute, I am doing, I am clicking means whether it is operating, operation is done or not. Yes, ma'am. You people can turn on your video, turn off your video, you can mute yourself, you can unmute yourself, you are able to perform all those things. How could you able to do means because here an operating system has existed there. Got it clear everyone? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. 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 Yeah, very good. Okay, fine. Everyone understood till now? Now we will enter into? Yes. Next. Yeah, very good. Next one is all basics I am touching from Sumaras. So what are the generations of computers means what? We have five types of generations. Girls. First generation, second generation, third generation, fourth generation and fifth generation. Okay, now how generations are nothing but evolution of computers how evolution of computers so a very earlier days first let me clear take an example at the beginning of our days if you want to convey any message you think that there were no mobile there were no phone there were no land phones the land phones then and there were no post offices nothing but there and how they used to like you know from one place to the other place how you used to convey the message with through pgn right 
earlier days go we will go for earlier days okay now okay. how they used to convey the message from through pigeon they like they tie some they write something on letter and they tie it to nose and they will be sending and after that that pigeon will be reached to the destination for so many days in the meanwhile whichever the information has to be reached to the receiver it is not in time so what happened that is a drawback in order to overcome that like you know slowly 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 we was like you know telephone has come after the smart like you know uh, mob land phone Uh, mo mobile phone now androids we are like you know all that time man needs like he is going in on a progressive way or not yes ma'am yes in the yes so in the similar manner computers also like you know first generation second generation third and fourth and fifth means when we were talking about first generation of computers there was no programming language at all okay na only one language so what is the programming language mission language you people think that computer can understand our language do you think that computer will understand our language no. it will no. never understand oh, human man. language it will never understand it understand only zeros and ones what are the zeros and ones called first generation ma binary yeah binary, binary language otherwise i could call it as a mission language okay na binary language computer can understand only binary language or at binary means what it is a combination of ones or zeros and ones i could Zero take in any yeah i could take in in any probabilities okay na zeros and ones combination is nothing but a mission language computer can only understand the mission language okay first you remember this thing so first generations of computer means that time one one computer is meant for doing only one task now one mobile we are using for multiple ways we are using for zomato we are using for ola and we are using for whatsapp we are using for fb and we are saving and we are doing twitter everything means one small mobile we are using it in a multiple ways but when we are talking about generations of computer that is first generation what was the thing what was the mission means vacuum tubes okay now so that time one single mission occupy the whole space okay means it is only meant for doing only one particular oka mission oka te task chesu other than that it will not do so it was a drawback okay now once it got repaired it will take years to repair that and it's more expensive in order to overcome that second generation has come when we are talking about second generation then the programming language came into existence got my point yes, till sir. now there was yes, no programming sir. language when we are talking about second generation then the programming language has come what are the first programming languages means there were at that time there was no c c++ java python nothing was there only we had cobol fortran means what only cobol means only for business purposes only i have to use that program other than that i could not use that for anything everyone got it okay na so like that in the third generation of computers we got our programming language into existence there are three types of languages how many types of languages are there guys Three types. Three, three types of programming languages. From here we will start. Three types of programming languages. First one is machine language, okay, na? Or assembly language. The other one is interpreter, okay, na? Next one is high language, high level language. So what is meant by machine language is also called as assembly language. Combination of zeros and ones. What I call? Binary. Binary yes. language, okay, na? So whenever I am talking about. Uh, Everyone can see the screen, right? Yeah. First one is what mission assembly language. Assembly language, then interpreter. Assembly language is also called as low-level language, girls. Okay, now assembly level language is called what? Low-level language. Next one is what? Middle-level language. Okay, now here interpreter. Okay. 
Okay, everyone can see the screen. What is written here? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So there are three types of programming languages were there. Are there? What are those? Low level language, middle level language, and the other one is high level language. Okay, everyone understood till here. Low level language is also called as machine language. What it is called? Machine language. Machine, machine language. language means what? I could tell only zeros and ones. Okay, yeah. machine language zeros and ones. Okay, and here what is the main pro problem with this machine language means? Suppose you people come for lab, you practice like C programs or C plus plus whatever the program you typed in the system. If like you know once you write the program, later you go for checking the F, checking for errors. In the meanwhile, it will allow you to do the to type the program right. Suppose if you are typing 20 lines of programs. You don't know. You are just simply copying from the book and you are typing the program. And in the meanwhile, you may do many, you may did many mistakes, but you are not going to stop your program. Once the program typing is completed, later you are going for error correction, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes. yes. Whenever I am talking about machine language, there, if we start typing the program, so if any error is there, means till I rectify that mistake, it will not move to the next next letter to write. Got my point? Everyone, machine language means what? Low level yes, language means it will not allow to move next slide. If I have to correct that program, correct that particular word, then only I'll be moving to the next word. Means what? Here it is a time taking factor or not? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. But first, we, what we feel first, I type the complete program. Then I will be going for checking errors. But it will not allow. Sometimes we have, we may have the mood to do correct it, and we feel like doing it tomorrow. Means it's like you know, time taking factor. And what is the translators means what converting na? Here, what is the translator means assembler. Means what? It is going to whichever the thing I have written in English thing, English letters, it is going to convert into machine language. Low level languages, translator is what? Assembler. You know, no, assemblers means translators means what? Translators are nothing but converting human language into machine language. Means English to zeros and ones. Okay, now when we are talking about low level language, what was the translator? Assembler was the translator. Everyone understood, understand this please, okay? What was the translator? Assembly. Assembler. And we felt bored. Okay, I have to type a code. If I do any mistake, it is not moving. Like, you know, we have told from land phone to mobile, mobile to Android. We are like, you know, all the time we need improvement. So, we are not comfort with the low level language. And again, further we have proceeded with the middle level language. So, what is the translator here? Means interpreter. What is the translator here? Interpreter. Means what? Means it is comparatively somewhat better than the what? Low level language means what? Here Assembly. it is not a, yeah, because whenever I am talking about middle level language, at least it will allow me to type a paragraph, means one line it will complete. If I am doing any line in the mis in, uh, mistake in one line, it will allow me to do. If I want to proceed to the next line, then it will not allow. First you correct this line, then you proceed, means it is stopping me there. Means it is comparatively uh, somewhat better than uh, low level language, but not perfectly. Got my point everyone? Assembler and low level language translator. So, low level language, type Suppose how place H A W Rasan. Okay, now we have to write the whole line. So, I know it I did. So, but I don't know its correct spelling right now. Then Tarva it will not move. Low level language. First, I want to rectify this mistake. Then only I have to move to that. Means what? It is a time taking. First, I type just them. Then you overcome chair. And interpreter achin. Interpreter allow, will allow you to type a line. If any mistake is there, also it will not bother you. First, you type a line. Later, it will allow you to check. Means checking line by line is nothing but an interpreter. It is comes. It comes under which language? Middle level language. Okay. Next one is what? High level language. High level language means what? How many lines of programs I type? Like, you know, thousands of 10,000. How many lines of programs I type? No bother for high level language. After that, with the compiler is the high level language translator. What is the high level language translator? Compiler. After once the program typing is finished, then I am going to compile the program at last. So, Means what? Among all these types of uh, uh, translators, which is the best one? Which is the best translator? Yes, 
compiler compiler how many types of translators are there girls all at once please three types three types what are those assembler no. interpreter compiler assembler compiler. interpreter compiler everyone please assembler interpreter compiler what is the assembler means what low level language low level interpreter means what middle level middle, middle level. level high level the compiler is High level. High level. Okay, now you don't know how they execute. Everyone understood this? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Very good. Now, next leave. Next, we are going to do. Okay, fine. And here you may get one doubt, ma'am. As you are telling that whatever the program we write in a C language, okay, you are telling computer can understand only zeros and ones, but How many net? How many digits are there? Zeros and ones. How many combinations I take? There are different words. How I could take that possibility? Are you getting my point? Zeros and ones. So, under the under under the digits. Then I need all I use this call. But I want to take any name like Srivani. Srivani name zeros and ones. So, all I ask them. Did you get that doubt? Is that no? Can you tell in English, ma'am? Okay, fine. Okay, all are done. So, you, I told you, computer will not understand human language. It understand only machine language. Up to now, everything is clear. So, you may get the doubt. Machine language means what? It is a combination of zeros and ones. Zero and and one. here, if I want to write my name, how I can take the combination of zeros and ones? My name, suppose my name is Nagalakshmi. I want to convert my name into zeros and ones. How could I do? What way I approach? Everyone got this question? Yes. How will you do? Man, how will you do? Yes. you can think about it means means here i am going to use one conversion that is called binary conversion what i am going to do binary conversion you please remember this very soon tomorrow we'll have discussion about this also okay na it means i am going to convert my name into binary conversion means what my name i am going to convert into zeros and ones that is nothing but binary conversion computer can understand only machine language right machine language means nothing but binary conversion okay na Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, fine. So now we will come to programming language. C is a which type of language? C is a high level come middle level language. Means we are implementing both middle level features plus high level features. So it is a I cannot say it is a completely high level language, and I cannot say completely it is a middle level. It is a combination of both middle level and high level language. So C language was developed by the person named. Dennis Ritchie. Dennis Ritchie. Dennis Ritchie. Very good. Okay, na Dennis Ritchie. So when we are talking about C language, we have come across many things. So C language is developed by. So what is a variable, girls? First, we will know about it. What is a variable? Collection of. Define variable means what? सिंपल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सी प्लस प्लस सी प्रोग्राम Are you okay with this? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So we will start coding because whenever I want to write a program, first I want to include this. And here, one thing I want to tell you: if you are doing program in uh, Dev C++ means Dev C. We have compilers, guys. We have different types of compilers. Okay, now compilers means like company. We have mobiles, Android mobiles. We have means what type of mobiles we have? Uh, mine is. Uh, You name some companies, girls. Whichever you are using, Realme, Narzo, Realme, XP, Vivo, Oppo. Ah, uh -huh. Oppo means what? How we are using means their their operating is different. All features are same. Means in the similar manner, we are having all will come like we have 
different types of compilers for in our lab we have two types of compilers one is turbo c or c++ the other one is dev c++ if the programmers like in an it companies we are going to use the software called borland c++ means where i could execute 2000 lines of program at a time lines of code at a time so for us it is not required so at our le at our level we are going to use only two types what are the compilers we use in our lab turbo c or c++ the next one is dev c++ okay now yeah next here i just start writing a program okay now so you people know that standard input output header file std io dot h okay what for we write in our program this first you tell what for we write this in our program if i don't write will, I, will my program will get executed no why why it will not get executed yes come on it is a header file yes Anyone can answer, please. Okay, fine. So, because I have defined here include because if I am writing any program, I am must to use this header file hash include studio dot h because this is the standard input output dot header file. Okay, now header file is nothing but it is also called as preprocessed directive. What it is called? Preprocessed directive. Yeah, preprocessed directive. Okay, now. Directive. Because if I want to use like, you know, here main is a keyword. Printf is a keyword. Means keywords means what? They had already certain meaning by themselves. When the software is being developed. Okay, now they had provided some words. But that they have already provided one meaning. Means they are reserved words. We cannot define them according to our own. Suppose if I want to write my name, I could write anything. Like if I ask you to write a... Uh, Something about you yourself means you'll be writing everything. But the same thing if you want to write about some main function, whatever is there that you have to write means what? Keywords means what? They had already certain meaning which is not changed by the user. Got my point? Yes, ma'am. Everyone, please. Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay, yes. now. Yeah. So, preprocessed directive means what? Printf, main function, all these keywords are defined under these header files. If I want to use them, I have to declare this. And those are separate files. Okay, now don't include that. This program, this uh, studio.h header file, this coding is the same. But if I want to use these keywords, I have to mention it here because they are defined under this only. Under Studio dot has some has some keywords are defined under Conio dot has some header files some keywords are defined. So if I want to use them in my program, it is mandatory that I want to declare this header file. Got it cleared, everyone? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah, ma yeah. In C language, each and every statement ends with a semicolon. Each and every statement ends with a semicolon. And you may think that, ma'am, totally here, how many number of lines are there? One. How many number of lines are here? Five. Five, ma'am. Five. five. So, and you may get the doubt, ma'am. We are using here five lines, but only one, at one place we have used the semicolon. Right? Did you get this doubt? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Because, very good. So, here, main is a function, Gus. A function will never... Uh, give take semicolon because statement means only printf and scanf and declarations only i can consider them as statements i cannot take main as a statement it is a function function means what it is enclosed with the it is enclosed with the left and right parenthesis got my point okay now printf scanf if i take like you know any variable declaration that becomes a statement i cannot take main as a statement it is just a function okay Yes, ma'am. For today, you take this. Tomorrow, we will slowly enter into the subject. For today's class, is there any doubt? No, ma'am. Okay, no, ma fine. Everyone? Yes, ma'am. At least basic idea. I just want to know you because I need your interaction more, girls. As this is our first class. Okay. So, we will try to go. 
and everyone understood how many types of memories are there what is their functionality and what is meant by booting and which is faster compute uh, like you know secondary or cache memory or main memory everyone is aware of all these things yes ma'am what is meant by volatile memory what is meant by non volatile memory so how many types of translators are there and what is the main functionality of inter interpreter what is the main functionality of uh, uh, assembler everyone got this yes ma'am yes ma'am yeah so whatever is been taught you please make a note of it these are all the fundamental things girls they may not ask for your interview but as you belong to computers you have to know all these basics that is the only reason i have given you from tomorrow onwards we will directly proceed to c language okay okay ma'am okay ma'am yeah any doubt means please let me know yeah i'll send the pdf shivani you don't worry about pdf i am having the ready made material i'll be giving you at last okay first you have to understand and you need no and no do not hesitate to ask me the doubts if it is not clear i'll explain in telugu also personally okay na still if you have any doubt you can meet me tomorrow when you come for college right there also you can ask me for doubts okay 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 ma'am everyone understood right yes ma'am abhi the class is it boring or interested how could you rate it rate the class girls excellent interesting yes interesting tomorrow i'll make more interest okay i'll try to make because even it's for as this is the first class timings are very odd okay now we will try to make tomorrow somewhat in a better way and one thing i need your interaction i feel like you know if you are not responding i feel our students are not getting maybe my class is boring that type of distractions i get in my mind please i need interaction suppose if you are not talking like you not otherwise you can message in the chat box okay many are messaging but still okay uh, hello yes ah uh, prabha am i audible so shall i share yes, the attendance sheet link yes prabha you can share right once again attendance is compulsory girls okay okay ma'am okay, ma only Just check out. I have shared one Google form link in your chat box. Check out and open it. I'll read out the all the fields. If any field you can you are unable to fill, let me know. We will be here for another five minutes. Are you able to fill girls? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Okay. One column has given as roll number. Can you see at the end? Roll number is there. Yes, ma'am. Yes. In roll number, first years has not been allotted with the roll number, so they can give their general number, which has been given by other groups like one, two, three, four. Remaining girls should fill the complete roll number one, one, seven, five, and remaining. Okay. And another thing is from tomorrow onwards, we will give you another roll number from our side. That roll number you have to fill. Okay. As we have, we are into collecting the attendance sheets and uh, your registration sheets. Once we collect all the sheets. then we will provide you our own roll number for this class you have to fill that roll number only okay okay ma'am okay right hope the class was clear and from tomorrow onwards we will be sharing our class code where the regular material and the assignments will be shared you have to join the class code and that class code will be shared on your given email id only okay okay ma'am right take care nagalakshmi can i end the meeting yeah prabha you can end the meeting okay thank you girls thank you good night if you take have care. any doubts you can message in the chat box also girls like in whatsapp any personal queries okay okay
ओके मैम थैंक यू थैंक यू ऑल हैव ए नाइस डे ग्रेट थैंक यू एंड मैम टुमारो ऑनवर्ड्स मेक द क्लास मोर इंटरेक्टिव ओके देन ओनली वी विल आल्सो गेट द इंटरेस्ट